Now, I love this sign that I saw in Brazil when I was there about a year and a half ago. It says, Bahia, part, part of Peru, preferred by tourists since 1500. You can imagine this country, there's been so many waves of immigration coming through here. Of course, the natives, we had African slaves, we had Europeans, we had North Americans. So people have been coming from all over the world to this country, and it really is a very multicultural country. You'll see things like this all around Brazil. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any stereotyping or, um, you know, the, the people have equal opportunities. And it's not really based on race in Brazil. There's no segregation really based on race. It's more based on money. So the rich of Brazil live much different than the poor, but that's, again, not, not driven by racial differences. So immigration patterns are quite unique here, um, but what's really interesting is the contrast here between the rich and the poor, and it's a huge contrast between those two. So here we have Copacabana Beach. Along the right side there, you can see these condos, you know, million point five dollar condos, really quite pricey properties. But in this, this same city, you know, we can walk for about half an hour We half an hour, and we can be immersed in one of the biggest shanty towns, the favelas of Rio, that have now become famous. Uh, and, you know, people living on two, three dollars a day is quite normal here. So a huge contrast there between rich and poor. Caparina, sort of like your mojito, your Cuba mojito. A caparino is, is a very nice drink, very limey. I'm sure you'll have a few of these when you're down there. Keep in mind, one thing Brazilians definitely know how to do is have a good time. So really, really great opportunity to take advantage of some of the nightlife down there. And the food is quite good in Brazil. I don't feel like Brazilian food often gets its due. We're talking about really, really nice seafood along the coast, some nice soups, uh, and almost curry-like flavors in, in some of these dishes. So that's a little bit about culture in Brazil. I hope that helped. Hope you've learned something. Keep on booking.